We're broadcasting live from Hickson, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vest on and let's go, America! Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Los Angeles Dam take on the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. They call the work feet, and he's off to the races. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> Second down and six. Third down and nine. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Well, I want Sean Kidd to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was trying. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like... And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. He could go all the way. First down and seven. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and two. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh. He's leaving a way. 
wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments, and he punched his way out of that tackle. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8 with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the defense gets another pick. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. First and ten. And he just wrestles away. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, man. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And he breaks away. Caught for the first down. First and eight to go. Stuck at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius.
And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down, and, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. QB is saying his prayers. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, nice hit. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third down and long. Yeah. And the ball blazers through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half and save it for later. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that... Uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> this is your brain, and this is your... Yeah, we get hit in the... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down in a lot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. You want dirt and some fun on your time.
Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. you wanted bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy that's a good point grim and it's first and ten Second down in a very lot. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they could pee for me, too. With that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Not gonna drop that one. Oh, holy Montezuma. 
Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And like Bricks' his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and nine. Keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And there's an eight yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Briggs matched. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Third and two. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays real. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, man, nobody can touch your eyeball. I take all you new out. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? So players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a su uh Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleed. He's a man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck. And he's off to the races. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Should be easy, but 
With kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go with a strapeze show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball cannot. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. He re he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. First and ten. And th oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. And the QB minus himself now because this guy's full. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And another intercept. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little gilt. Oh, man. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The 20, the 10. Touchdown! <laughs> the offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. If they lose another, it's game over. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they pay. He is fighting for every yard. He just put that guy out of his mind. Who's next? And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed clip. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the defense is on his heels. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. I hope that bribe covered funeral expenses. First down and forever. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. That ball was almost intercepted. <laughs> it's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a... And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. Does the QB know which team he's on? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down in a mile. Oh, good heads-up play there, getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him? Oh, he just got crushed. And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Third down and long. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant man. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. away from that tackle. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite him. And it's first and ten. And that's 
the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> Second down and long. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> It's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Refuses to go down. Second down in a very lot. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. The defense goes a sticky ball, dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down and, well, good luck. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And the punter has one job to do, and that's, he's got, oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he's on. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And they brought him to a dead stop. Look, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how many.
much you wanted, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Great shoestring tackle. First and ten. At this point with multiple... Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Only with them. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback unleashes a sun. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. It's first and ten. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. Third down and three. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure is. And then will bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Second down and a lot. Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets projected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Gun ahead. I'm running out. Oh, with a punishing hit. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. He 
kick. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Eh, big deal. Missed the meat for Brain Tram and the ball didn't fall out. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down in a very lot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. <laughs> and defense burns its last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a timeout into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. The quarterback had no throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Third down, and never going to happen. Freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other.